my coming at you with another planet coaster park spotlight thank you for joining me welcome to the video now i'm a little bit nervous today i'm not gonna lie because we've got somewhat of a celebrity in our midst there are some say that hbo actually approached him to start in a friends remake and that he has got more supporters than donald trump i present michael from m and j games hello michael how are you doing I'm doing good, Maddie. Thanks for having me. How are you doing? I'm doing very well, thank you. Did you like your intro? Yeah, I mean, when you started talking about celebrity in the mist, I started thinking, oh, should my wife be the one with the headset on right now and, and doing this spotlight? Because she's she's the celebrity of M and J Games. I don't I don't know where you got the celebrity call from, but well, to it's be greatly fair, appreciated. I know that Jasmine does carry your channel, but I know that she's working at the moment, and with the time difference, obviously it's evening for me, afternoon for you. She's actually busy at work at the moment, so I kind of like just have oh, to yeah. make do with you. I'm afraid. So yeah, but I'm yeah. Sure so we'll you're stuck with me. So yeah, we'll plow through. <laughs> it but anyway yeah, getting back to this park spotlight so i present hidden temple mall created by lu5 th09 now that may that name may be familiar to a couple of people he's got some amazing creations on the workshop and he also created the hammer that appeared on let's get hammered in the most unpractical unbelievable unrealistic park in the world so, yeah, he, he approached me and asked, would I mind doing a spotlight on his park? And I said, of course, after using his hammer to such good effect. So, let's have a look at this park on the workshop, shall we? So, here it is on the workshop. Now, this is a PlayStation 4 park, so this will be accessible to everybody. So, make sure to go and give it a thumbs up, give it a favourite, show your support for Lou 5 th 9 And the description says, a mall of America-style park founded on the sites of a hidden temple with four original coasters, the 4032, the Geoworld, the Guardian, the Sefer, Jungle Loop created by Andrea, Starship Scenery piece created by Commander 06. So that's really good that straight away Lou has given credit where credit is due to the other creators for things in this park. So that's really good. Great work there. And let's hop into this park, shall we? So here we are at the park entrance. So there's not a lot on the left and right to look at straight as we walk in. But instead, we've got this coaster right above us. <laughs> now... That yep. is something to be looking at um, as, as you walk into a park. People going over the top of you screaming. And we come down to this. I must admit, this is a beautiful entrance. That is For really, sure, definitely. really nicely done. And we've got penguins. We've got penguins on the top. I mean, what oh, are your man. thoughts on that, Michael? Yeah, I think the detail on this building, um, you can tell there's a lot of work that went into it. And I like the little... Um, I always forget the word for those type of uh, little towers on the left and right side, whatever you would call those. Uh, they're not really bell towers, right? Because they don't have a bell in them. Uh, I think that just adds a lot of detail to it. Yeah, I can't remember the name of them off the top of my head myself now, but I, I, I know what you mean. They are kind of like a bell tower, aren't they? And Yeah, I, I completely agree. And I've seen all the trimming that is around this building as well. Oh, for sure. Um, really nicely trimmed and detailed. So yeah, great job on that. That's a really, really nice entrance building. Great job on that. And we come through here, and what a beautiful sight line mm -hmm. this is. It reminds me of um, Lumin Park, which was created by Jasmine, Michael's wife. It um, kind of gives me that kind of vibe, like kind of the vibrancy and the colour and the tropical feel of the entrance. Oh, for sure, definitely. And... I mean, just the fact that you, you get all these different colors that kind of hit you right as you walk in. And I like the ceiling, because even though it looks like it's the... Is that the castle ceiling, right? I the believe castle it is, wall. yes. And yeah, the castle roof flat, yeah. Yeah, and just the how the lights are reflecting off it makes it look really nice. And it matches really well with the floor, and then you got your... There's your water features, man. <laughs> Straight away, <laughs> right as you instantly. walk in. Yeah. I've, I've been hit by yeah. water instantly, so I love it. Have you seen these rock textures? I mean, this is 65% on a PS5, and the rock textures still haven't loaded in. Frontier, man, yeah. seriously, sort it out. The, the, just pa just send a quick patch and sort out the rock textures, please, because it, it's getting annoying now. But Yeah, I mean, we don't. none of us are programmers and coders, but to me, I'm like, is it really that hard to code the texture of a rock? Oh, no. into the game but who knows 
But either way, I mean, that would looks really nice, though. Yeah, I, I'm not submit. I'm not exactly sure which way to go because there's so many different ways to go here. So shall we have a look at Rapunzel? Okay, so we've got a mm -hmm. queue line here for Rapunzel. Let's have a walk down this queue, shall we? So once upon a time, that's really nice. Really nice theming. Oh, Jasmine would be proud of this. Look yeah, at all she the would, foliage for sure. and the plants. I love all this lights that are going off everywhere as well, you know. Yeah, it looks really good, the spotlights, and mm. they've hit them well because I can't even see where those are located, right? So there's one, there, and then the others are Oh, okay, there they are, yeah. Yeah, really, really nice job with the spotlights. I really do like them a lot. And then mm -hmm. we've got Looks Rapunzel. really good. And have you noticed the, the ride is yellow? So that would be Rapunzel's hair? <laughs> yeah, that's very, very clever. Rapunzel, very let clever down your way hair. Of, of <laughs> well, it's a clever way, too, of uh, um, taking a ride that you wouldn't necessarily relate to that kind of um, that story or movie necessarily, but yet it still ties it in because of the colors of the ride. Yeah. So I think that's a very, very nice job. A nice job with the foliage around it, too, and stuff. Yeah, the theming all around this area is just absolutely stunning. And it's such mm -hmm. a unique idea as well, having the entrance to this park in a shopping mall as well. Um, oh, for sure. What's the first kind of association, game or film that would come to your mind when you think shopping mall? Oh, I mean, I mean, it's got to be Stranger Things recently. Like, I don't oh, know if you watched right, okay. that show it yeah. See, I would think I mean, zombies. I don't know. I guess Jasmine and I got hooked on that show. Zombies? Okay. Because of, like, kind of Shopping Dawn Mall. of the Dead. And, um, yeah. oh, what's that um, zombie game? Uh, the one in the shopping mall. Uh, 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 Dead Rising. Dead Rising. Okay, I don't think I've played that one. Oh, it's not but, a I mean, game. I do know Sean. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I just I just think of Stranger Things and season three, and they better be coming out with season four soon. I it's believe it's at the end of this year um, because they've started okay, showing good. teasers. So yeah, um, all of this inside. What about here, you? Which is beautiful. Oh, I sorry. guess you just said your thoughts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I was just saying what about you? But then you just said your thoughts too. You think about zombies and stuff. Yeah. So, but it's it's nice. I like the like the style of this um, entryway and stuff. So it's unique. We've got a coaster here. By the looks of it, or we've got something at least anyway. So there's something hidden behind this wall. So we've got Geo World. So let's have a walk down this mm -hmm. queue line, shall we? Oh wow, that's uh, you being thrown a lot of colours at you, but in a good way. Mm -hmm. And bubbles. Bubbles. Oh, oh bubbles yeah. just make me think of Ozzy Osbourne um, from the Osbournes, and it's like I'm the Prince of Darkness. I don't need bubbles. I don't, I, that, that did not sound like Ozzy Osbourne at all. Not in any way, shape or form. That was a terrible impression, but yeah. Really good show. God, that, that, I bet that show's, what, 15, 20 years old now? Showing me age now. Mm -hmm. right, so let's come up here. And we have got a coaster indeed. Wow. And look oh, at wow, that. Oh, wow, look at that view right there. That's amazing. Yeah, that is, that is really cool. Oh, let's have a look at the stats for it then, shall we? So... We've got green across the board, so really, really good job on the stats. And the G-Force is well within some good limits as well. So this should be mm -hmm. a really good ride. So let's go for a point yeah. of view. Enjoy the ride. So, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go for a second point of view, but we'll go for front bumper so we can actually really take in the scenery as well. So, enjoy the second ride.
So, Michael, what were your thoughts? I thought it was a good ride. Um, I think these coasters are so tough to make. I don't know what your thoughts are on that, just because it's so hard to control the spinning. And I think overall, I think they did a pretty good job of not spinning way too out of control. And just, I mean, look at that, all that scenery right there and just the colors and the lights kind of in the wall that are bouncing off and reflecting off of the wall. And it just looks beautiful. I, do you know what? I completely agree. Um, it's so unique and original. Mm -hmm. um, it, as we were going around, it kind of like made me think of a bit of a circus. But now, as I'm panning around like this, it's more kind of like optical illusions as yeah, well. Um, with sure. kind of like the floating things. But we have got people on trapezes and things like that. So... Yeah, I'm I'm completely blown away by this. I think it's so unique and original, and the actual coaster itself was really good as well. Um, felt really smooth. Um, I love that. I built this little bloke here with just the basic shape. Oh, for sure. That's mm -hmm. that's really cool. And just before we actually yeah, move on, yeah, looks really good. Um, I'm actually just going to have a look at this at night as well. So there we go. We have a night point of view. So. I mean, that's just awesome. It's awesome. Yeah. There's not really a lot to say. And the lighting's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. It's just, the lighting's so good on this. And just those, like you said, I mean, once you said optical illusion, I was like, oh, wow, it is. It's like, it's just designed to cause you to think about, you know, how's that stuff hanging right there and different things. And, I mean, just fantastic. Yeah. If I, you would, could you could you go up to the roof real quick for a second? Yeah, of course, kind of, yeah. Yeah, so I know um, this was pretty cool in terms of like the fact that you're going to the top of the roof. One thing that this um, creator can do is um, I did a spotlight a while back of an indoor park that somebody's created. And one thing they did for the roof area was they used those glass window shot pieces to create an elevation change on the roof that where the ride actually went up through part of that. And so... Um, they could actually kind of make that area where the coaster almost goes out of the roof, make that area glass to kind of have it feel like it's enclosed, if you know what I'm saying. I don't think I actually saw that spotlight. I think I'd actually quite like to see that myself because that sounds like a really cool idea. But I'm just going to pop it back to daytime a second. <laughs> so there we are back to the daytime point of view. So... Let's uh, go back down to the queue line, shall we? Let's go through here. I mean, just all this is is amazing. And let's walk down the exit, shall we? So we've Well, that shows here. you how, how well the ride was themed, or how well it's themed in there, if you can't really tell that much of a difference from daytime view to night view. Yeah. Like, that shows you how many lights were in there and just how well done it was. Um, and one thing I want to say real quick. Now, some of this might be by design, with it kind of almost being more like an optical illusion, like kind of science or space type ride but if you go down to like the main queue yep. area um you kind of see how he used some terrain paint right to use the tarmac to kind of hide it mm -hmm. and one thing that that you can do is use the roof tiles um and so you can color them the way you want choose what kind of roof tile you want to kind of hide those other areas where the path's not and now then again this might be kind of by design that he or that this creator did it this way you know yeah yeah, I completely see what you mean. Um, yeah, I, I also think like kind of a percentage counter kind of like ended up becoming a problem towards the end as well. For this, sure. This is 100% on a PS4, but I completely get what you mean, kind of like, so it would kind of like just hide the sight lines over here and like if you were to use the um, the metal flooring and just lift it up ever so slightly mm -hmm. and then you could still color it orange and then it would just hide mm -hmm. some of that and you could even like kind of take away the... Uh, the sides of the path as well so they wouldn't show through as well but yeah just uh fantastic work what a, what a first coaster to go on that's a, a mm -hmm. high bar for this park but we come out of here straight to this person who needs the toilet go on go 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 i hope there's some toilets nearby and where are we now so it always gets me in this game they got to use the toilet and then they keep walking i'm like man if i gotta use the toilet i'm running yeah or um, they get or they queue for a ride it's like they're walking yeah. around, they're absolutely desperate, <laughs> but I'm going to go queue for a ride. It's like, what's that all about? See, she's walked past the toilet. The toilet is there, and she's, like, carried yeah. on. What are you doing? Like, no nothing sounds worse 
worse than having to use the restroom and about to hop on a roller coaster. Like, that just sounds like a recipe for disaster. Uh, if I needed the toilet and I went on a roller coaster, it would become a water ride. I, I can guarantee yeah. it. But <laughs> I love these shops here. Um, how you've yeah, kind of like got really the cool. sci-fi pieces around it. That's really, mm -hmm. really cool, unique idea. And do you know what? I don't think I've barely ever seen anyone use these pieces. Yeah, I remember I used them in my very first park, which was terrible, and then I've never used them since. And that had nothing to do with those pieces being terrible. I just think, you know, they're they're harder to, to use yeah. in general, but this is a perfect time to use them, and it looks great. Yeah, 100% agree. Um, I... I used them through the campaign in the sci-fi parks, um, but yeah, I never used them anywhere else. Yeah, really, really great job. Um, I do really like that. Um, one little piece of um, feedback I do have is that, like, just having that kind of that piece here, it does somewhat just break the immersion a little bit. Um, because I was looking mm -hmm. at this thinking, oh, I, I really like that. But then I saw that and it kind of like took me away from it. And I'm like, oh, you've got a piece of grass there. So like kind of similar to what Michael was saying with regards to using the roof tiles in in, um, in the queue line there. Maybe kind of like just the same down here as well. But again, I understand piece count and, and all that kind of stuff. Right. But, we well, have... and then look at the air duct things. Um, sorry, I was going to say, I mean, that's a great use, too, of, um, I forget what they're actually calling the game, but, you know, like the, what's supposed to be, like, the air ventilation, ventilation pipe pieces. Yeah, ventilation pipe. And so, I mean, great use of those um, to really make it seem like there's actual air or whatever, you know, being pumped into that ship. And, and it, I mean, it looks awesome. Yeah. And then you got the other wall pieces up there that look like they got monitors on them, so... I mean, really, really detailed. Yeah, I, I do really like that a lot. But we're coming to our next ride by the looks of it. So we've got 4032. I wonder what that is in reference to. Any ideas? No idea. Mm. Um, but I like the entryway here. I like the use of these little tunnel pieces. Yeah. Gosh, it just feels like Star Wars. I was See, I was thinking Alien. Oh, Alien. I can see that, yeah. Yeah. I can see that for just sure. Just kind of like the claustrophobic so um, alien. Like yeah, go back for just one second if you would. Beep, I'll point out, beep, you're talking about beep, the emergent beep, piece. Beep. A little bit to the left. So he could use, this creator could use those same pieces to kind of fill in that little gap right there. Yeah. You know, to where you see, because this is, I mean, this is such a great job of the immersion component. And there's just like a couple small pieces here that would truly bring all that immersion together, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, but it's. Pretty I mean, this agree. is still really, really cool. Or really even cool like a cube. screen or something. Maybe mm -hmm. kind of like put a black yep. screen there or something that would actually work as oh, well. Oh yeah. You're I the mean, king of oh, using the black screens. Oh, so. I, I do love a black screen, me. Um, I use them all over the place. Look at the lighting in here. Um, Gosh, this is cool. That is all triggered, as well. Um, we actually had. I, I didn't think even notice that. We need to put this tonight. So let me just pop it tonight a second. Right, so here we are at a night point of view, and yeah, 100% this was supposed wow. to be viewed at night. Wow, indeed. That is some really, really clever use of the triggers. Down mm -hmm. a queue line as well. Not something you see generally. Yeah, that's, wow, that's, I mean, that's impressive. I haven't really used triggers with lights much, so I don't really know how that works but i could just imagine this took a while to to get working the way he this the way he wanted it to and i mean look at those um whatever those pieces are for that detailing up there like that is cool it's to the starship landing gear um and then oh is that all the same piece right so it's all one piece but really well done this okay. this lighting is actually slowing down my playstation um it, it's really <laughs> not liking this bit because there's just so many triggers and things happening simultaneously it's actually causing a bit of slowdown so i'm going to carry on walking through because i'm hoping this doesn't cause a crash so mm -hmm. right so we come through to the station here so a really nice station building wow this makes me think of yeah, a mile in is... time by uh, moomin little socks mm -hmm. oh yeah that for sure for sure i, I totally see that um, 
Wow, this is detailed and this is awesome. It's incredible. Let's just have a quick look at the stats just before we jump onto the ride, shall we? So once again, we've got green across the board. Um, the max vertical G-forces are a little bit on the high side. Um, anything underneath six is generally what you want to go for. Anything pulling over seven G is generally higher G-forces than a Formula One car. So um, you kind of like need to think in that way. Like kind of these guys are not trained Formula One athletes. Um, so the, the, the G forces that this is going to pull will be too much. But as I've always said in past spotlights, you either build for realism for the guests or you build for the viewer, the player. And if the ride is amazing, then them stats make no difference at all. But oh, let's for sure. go for a ride, enjoy the point of view. So, I mean, where did we even begin with that? That was absolutely incredible. That was, yeah, I don't really have many words for that. Um, the use of triggers that you were using on that ride was just incredible. Um, all through this tunnel, you had no idea this tunnel was there because it was all kind of mm -hmm. like lit up. And then you came up in here and just all inside here, just yeah just incredible work i've got nothing else to say um michael what are your thoughts i mean same as you the i know we both kind of we're like oh my gosh like when it's that that initial trigger when you kind of stop there for a second you see kind of the the um the electricity and stuff i mean that was just so cool um and then just the blinding light for a couple seconds and all of a sudden you're you're in space is, and I think this gives, I mean, this really does feel like you're, I don't know, is this supposed to be, I guess, you're, you're see people fighting in space. But either way, I mean, this is just fantastic. Um, yeah. I mean, it still amazes me, like, you know, this with this game, how, how people are so creative with how they build their rides, you know? And I'm just like, I am not that creative, but this is insane. <laughs> yeah, it's just absolutely incredible. Uh, I don't really yeah. know what to say. Um, I I now see more Star Trek in it um, mm -hmm. now, like from this side. So I'm now going like kind of back to what you said about it being like Star Trek. Um, I've got no yeah. idea how we get out of here. Um, can we just go through the roof? Yes, we can. Right there we go. So yeah. uh, let's just come out the roof. So the, and this entire building is just hidden on the side of the park as well. So you could actually see mm -hmm. it from where we came in the entrance, I believe. I, I don't know, actually. Um, I think the entrance was over there. <laughs> I'm not even sure where we are now. So what we're going to do is we're going to cheat and we're going to go back in this way and we're going to come through there. We're completely cheating the system. But just incredible work. That That's all I can say. The coaster itself was amazing as well. Um, great storytelling. Top, top work. Really well done. Uh, one of the most visually impressive things I've seen in, in a while. Uh, right up there with the best of them. So, and I can't give any more praise than that, to be honest. So, let's come out of here. And let's walk out of here. So, we've seen all of inside here now, haven't we? Yeah, all of this has been You know, done. I'm just noticing... I'm just noticing what a good job um, that uh, has been done with the... Look to the left, if you would, at the food stands... Yeah, but he like doing the um, 
you got like the fries above the fries you've got the hot dog above the hot dog stand and it's just like just a lot of detail in that aspect so there's really there's really nothing that's gone undetailed and especially in this area and you've got the singing the great planko singing band whatever you want to call them that uh pretty fantastic yeah although you know as people are walking through i would i think the barriers just need to be placed down in some of these areas so that you don't have guests walking through stuff that's not meant to be walked through yeah like right there yeah you, even to maybe just delete that piece and just have um two different archways just to just to stop mm-hmm. that um now i mean wow wow what <laughs> yeah what what do you even say about that that is an incredible sightline that is breathtaking oh yeah for sure i mean especially when you look to the right and you see that um that jungle wheel i mean that's that's phenomenal yeah just how that's lit up that's the one that was created by what was the creator's name again um andrea i think it was or something like that um Adria, uh, Andrea, it was something along them lines wasn't it um you, had, you passed yeah. the test i put you to the test there and you passed you it. did thank you so yeah, that, yeah. that's good memory I'm, yeah, I'm getting old now remember so um <laughs> I, I do have short-term memory issues but i i think we may actually carry on this park spotlight at night you know because i've got a feeling this park really kind of like stands out more at night and then what we'll do at the end is we'll just pop it back today and have a look in the day at the end but just this is this is amazing um yeah I'm, I'm completely blown away by this the fact that you've got the coaster interacting with all of this as well um i have no idea where this coaster starts but from looking at it right now i'm very excited to get on this coaster because it looks ace so let's uh, let's crack on shall we and let's try and find this coaster so mm-hmm. let's uh, have a walk over here so we've got some more shops uh, we've got a staff Those room. look really cool. Just the theming all around here is yeah. just top work. Absolutely and using top those work. wooden scaffolding pieces, like, you know, there's some of those wooden scaffolding pieces that are like, I'm like, when would you really use that type of scaffold? But they did a great job to kind of fit it in with the theme. And, mm-hmm. oh, you got the hippo back there. And, yeah, very nice. I mean, hippo. really. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Really nicely yeah. done. Um, Only thing I'd say here is you know i would do something i was just saying doing something different with the path and not necessarily deleting the path but you kind of have this um you know the kind of the uh, like the terrain bit right there and i know there's water underneath but then you've got some of the path that doesn't have railings as well um so i would just make sure that they all have railings and you could even add like use some of the art pieces to try to add a little bit of um what's the word i'm thinking a little bit of like trim to to the path as well but once again i mean at some point you kind of run into a piece count issue right yeah <laughs> so you got to preserve pieces where you can yeah i must i do actually agree with you on that i must admit um as amazing as it does look maybe the pathing could be tweaked ever so slightly um mm-hmm. not a lot um not a lot but just tweaked ever so slightly we've got a um ride here of some description now from is that a balloon one of them balloon rides i think it is looks like yeah it. yeah we've got a balloon ride with with fire going all the way around it it's the oh, floor this is lava cool. uh what's this ride yeah, called that's curiosity. Pretty fantastic. oh it, it, so the so the ride isn't actually named um but yeah really great theming around this um and i do you know what there's the lighting of this park as well i kind of how you can see all the lighting like bouncing off the trees and the shadows that it's causing the reflections and everything and it's just really really nicely themed and lit i'm i'm super impressed with this mm-hmm. and let's hop out the exit which is over yeah. here jasmine um, would like this for sure she would yeah and um, we're going to come back on ourselves a little bit because there is some more stuff over here <laughs> to have a look at so we've got this uh, snake i believe oh no that is not the snake blueprint no it is not he's actually made that himself because there's different pieces mm. with the fountain in the middle and we've got all these fireflies all over the place and what have we got up here so we've got guardian oh now is this the coaster that's the exit for the coaster guardian there we go oh here we go here we go oh look at that 
here we go let's go on the big coaster shall we now normally i leave big coasters till the end but i'm being impatient this time and i really want to go on it now so um nice queue line hang on there we go <laughs> don't mind us move out of the way peasants move 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 so we've got this uh nice simple station here um nothing too big and flashy and what coaster have we got here so we've got one of the copperhead strikes and the stats mm -hmm. green across the board um again just a little bit high on the vertical g-forces but we'll we'll roll with it and let's go for a ride let's stop the talking and let's just enjoy the ride shall we speak to you in a moment Michael, what are your thoughts? Um, I think it was the, the design and layout was good. Um, I mean, my goodness, that's <laughs> that is a long coaster, right? Um, yeah. And so the the theming around it is really cool. I think it definitely needs some smoothing. Um, you could you could tell with a couple parts on that, but I mean the layout and the in and out of the trees and just the I mean look look at that terraforming of that um, whatever that's supposed to be. Um, yeah, the that doors. looks awesome. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is this. I mean, it's this creator does such a good job with um, just the theming around the rides, and it's. I can't put words into how cool just the theme is around, not just this ride, but all the other rides that we've been on. Yeah. Um, so I I completely second what you have just said. Um, that ride was amazing the theming was spot on absolutely spot on the coaster itself did require some work um as michael said there were some clear points where it did need a little bit more smoothing um between the transitions i also noticed as well that there was a little bit of clipping in some places as well um mm -hmm. there was one bit where you actually full-blown set them on fire um so um yeah you probably killed the guests i really like this around here the theme even though you wouldn't actually see that on the ride you wouldn't see that generally as you're on the ride because you go past it so fast but really really nice theming around it and then as you come it reminds back, me of crash maybe, bandicoot yes one I... of those old crash bandicoot games like you had the the kind of you had a lot of like this type of theming around it and stuff oh my gosh where are we what's going on <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we are. We've got an, about um, that aquarium part. <laughs> yeah, that, that is really unique and original, having an aquarium. Um, yeah, I completely mm -hmm. get what you mean with the Crash Bandicoot. Um, that makes complete sense. It, it's such a long ride. I'm trying to like kind of go around like and try and give feedback as we go around. Um, but mm -hmm. it's such a long 
coaster that I'm, I'm, I'm trying to kind of like go around it and it just kind of like goes on forever. <laughs> but this aquarium was amazing. Such a unique idea. And is there actually water? There's water above it. Mm. So it is actually genuinely under the water, which is a fantastic yeah. idea. That's, uh, I don't think I've seen that before. Um, those are those winding pe window pieces I was talking about that you can, um, the shop window pieces that you can use uh, on like the top of your, or that this, um, on the top of the building in the mall. Yes. To where you can, yeah. Yeah. I know. Still kind of have this see through, see out look. But man, yeah, this part's cool. I yeah. mean, look at that rain and that, you got that plane in the tree. Yeah. There is a, some slight clipping, um, as I previously stated, but. Um, I mean, th there are small nitpicks. Um, this bit in particular did require some quite heavy smoothing, um, that bit there. But um, besides smoothing and some slight clipping, just just yeah. incredible. And what says here? So we've got Jungle Loop by Andrea. I'd say there you go. And Spotlight featuring Iron Matty YouTube. Oh, I didn't know that was there. Oh, thank you. Um, Oh, that's that's really nice of you to put that there. I didn't even know that was there. So, oh, I'm quite touched by that. And, um, yeah, yeah, just incredible work. Really, really, really well done. Um, thoroughly can enjoyed. you do a favor for me real quick, Maddie? Yeah, of course. Um, can. can you click on the coaster? Yeah, of course. Um, and if you would, can you... Um, I want to see how many trains it's running. So if you want to go to the mechanic side. Oh, right, okay. So we've got just the two trains. So two trains, yeah. So I wonder, too... Um, you know with this creator if if so it seems like some of the stations are elongated right right and so one thing that you can do is you can create block sections to where you don't have to have these extended elongated stations that are longer than the length of the car essentially mm -hmm. and um you know i've so that's one of those that if you um, you know, you can find all sorts of stuff on YouTube about how to create block sections if, if needed help with that. Well, so that's don't one thing sell you can yourself do short. If, um, you've got a really good block section tutorial. Don't, yeah, I don't didn't go want to just like throw short. in a plug right no, 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 there. No, 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 but... no, no, no. No, by all means, um, Michael did an amazing video on transfer tracks and block sections. Don't go um, selling yourself short. Um, it was an amazing tutorial, and I highly recommend going and watching it. Um, it was fantastic. I didn't catch the name of this ride. I'm walking down a queue line. I didn't actually catch the name. Uh, but yeah, I didn't, I didn't catch it either. Oh. I'm sure we'll see it when we get to the coaster. Um, mm -hmm. But no, um, I highly recommend uh, Michael's tutorials on them. And they are really, really helpful for that as well. So we've got a... Uh, well, I what appreciate is, it. What you got yourself a good tutorial series going on right now too. Oh, thank you. So... We're just both yeah. plugging each other now, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. We yeah. need to stop I mean, being just so look nice. Look at the theming here. It's incredible. This is just just crazy. Like that room is phenomenal. Like I've got a feeling I mean, so we may insane. be saying fire to some guests again, but 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 we'll see when we uh, go on the ride, shall we? So it'll be oh, worth it, though. This station. <laughs> crazy. Wow. That is an incredible station. I'm I love the design on the roof. Like, I love that it is open, but it's like you got these, um, although some of them aren't quite touching, but you've got these temple blocks, these golden blocks that are creating the the roof. And, I mean, that is, that's just really cool. Yeah, very, very nicely done. Um, so what was this ride called then? So this was Zephyr. Right. And okay. once again, green across the board, 7.75 excitement. Oh, wow. wow, that's a uh, really good excitement, and the results are well within some good acceptable G forces mm -hmm. as well. So let's go for a point of view ride. Enjoy, guys.
Now, this may sound a little bit daft, given the fact of the rides that we've already been on, but that was my favourite one of the lot. Now, mm -hmm. there were some little slight issues with it. Um, same as previous ones, there's some slight clipping, uh, needs a little bit of smoothing here and there. But despite that, that was my favourite ride of the park so far. Um, there was a lot of triggers. Now, I only just glimpsed them as we were going around. Um, but there were triggers going down the wall. Um, so where was it? So back. So there were torches and lights that were triggering as you went down that wall there. There was also more triggers going on another wall as you went round. I love the interaction with all of this kind of like main hub area. How it's kind of like flying over the people mm -hmm. and everything. I thought it was absolutely brilliant. Um, perfect choice of coaster um, as it went round. Yeah, I thoroughly thought, there we go. Right, I caught it. So it all lights up as it went up there. Um, That's yeah, cool. great job. Again, bit of smoothing, bit of clipping. These are little tiny things that you will improve upon in future parks. But as a first park, just superb. The actual coasters are fantastic. Michael, what are your thoughts, mate? Yeah, this is the creator's first park. I mean, this is impressive for a first park. I mean, like this puts my first park to shame. <laughs> my first park was terrible um but yeah this is this i agree with you this is my favorite coaster and um just the the lift hill if you could go back to the lift hill um yeah. i think sorry, we're back I'm, i was sorry end, i was just checking out this room that is a cool oh, yeah room. it's like the temple of doom that is something. so cool um so the mm -hmm. lift hill right okay lift hill lift hill lift yeah hill. That the first drop and so you know one thing that's great about this game is everybody plays it differently right you know yeah. like you know, some people are super realism, like real life, and some people are just wanting to make good coasters. Like, there's so many different ways to play it. And so, th this ride has a lot of stuff that you won't ever see on a real life coaster like this, but it was so cool. Like, this first drop, the fact that you turn over and you're basically diving on your back down that first drop. And so, basically, like, you probably spent about a third of the ride laying down on your on your back instead of basically flying like you know you see what i'm saying with how that yeah. kind of twists and turns and yeah. it was like you don't see you don't see that ever on this coaster it's normally only like momentarily when you kind of have upside down like that but it was just it was it, it was really cool and i really enjoyed that aspect of it yeah yeah so the the the, the coasters in this park are just superb um i really mm -hmm. really like that shot then as it went past that was ace right so let's uh hop out to the exit which i assume is down here it must be yes it is so they are coming down here so let's walk out to the exit and let's come Gosh, down look at a few of the snakes <laughs> that the snakes That's just is really cool. cool yeah yeah so let's walk down here once again i've said it a couple of times already but the theming and the lighting spot on mm -hmm. um i'm repeating myself because i like it so much and we've got now a change of lighting around here so now we're kind of like coming to this beautiful like kind of blue tinted area um it's great incorporation with the shops as well just before the queue line the only problem i may have with that is if these shops do get a little bit on the busy side it is going to block the entrance for the ride but that is a, mm -hmm. small a good point nitpick and we come to one of these plane rides with some really nice foliage around it. Uh, Jasmine speciality. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 one thing I am noticing. Right, the terrain is a little. I. Is that supposed to be water, do you think? I don't know. It's, it, it looks almost like it was made to be water. I think but that it, something happened and... Yeah, I've got a feeling that it's supposed to be water, you know. Um, surely it must be. Yeah, there must be something <coughs> where, you know, Excuse sometimes me, when you... No, you're good. Sometimes <coughs> oh, when you... Uh... <laughs> sorry, you're just, good. just coughing in the middle of a video. I haven't done that for a while. Um, um, yeah, I've got a feeling like that was you... water and something went wrong somewhere, maybe with the, as uh, something else was terraformed or something. Yeah, for sure. Um, either way, it looks nice. So what did they use for those lights? Those, like, 
almost avatar style lights oh in this they, they're quite cool they are um, i like these they are the mushroom lamps mushroom lamps okay. um, let me just uh, edit the scene we group and i'll uh, pull one out the ground it's just so you can uh, see it one of them oh it's so it's like an actual okay I, I guess i just never really noticed those or used them much but that's that is perfect use of them right there i think jasmine used them really quite a lot in, um, in sweetheart lane I th i've got a feeling jasmine okay. used quite a few of them um i've used them before definitely um I really like the theming around this area and my only conclusion is that this must be water and something went wrong somewhere along the lines um, for because because your attention to detail in this park I can't imagine that you would have left that the way that it was intentionally so uh, something must have gone wrong somewhere without you realizing that, that's happened to me numerous times I've been like and I've done a water feature somewhere and I've done a bit of terraforming somewhere else in the park, and then it's gotten rid of water somewhere else. And I'm like, how did that even correspond? It doesn't even make sense. But yeah, uh, right, for sure. So what have we got here? So we've got a hotel and a restaurant down here. So the hotel what is the down heck? below there, <laughs> and we've got the restaurant up there. There's your Crash Bandicoot. Um, it really does feel yep. like Crash Bandicoot. So nice theming once again around here. Oh man. Um, yeah, that's really here. cool. So we've got a uh, just the way that the air ride, kind of like uh, the flying coaster, comes up and around here, um, just all around this area, is really mm -hmm. nice. And we've got a uh, river rapids over here somewhere. Is that that must be the exit there because we've got people walking down this way. So I can only assume the entrance must be up here. So we've got all these vending machines up here. There we go. Right. So we've got a entrance queue up here. So I'm just going to hop the queue, hop, there we go, and move out the way people, get out of my way. Right, so we've got a River Rapids here, so we will go for a front bumper view on this, so enjoy the ride. So, Michael, what did you think of that then? 
Yeah, I think it was good. Um, I, I'll be honest, I don't have that much experience making River Rapids, and so um, I don't really have too much feedback to give. Um, other than, I mean, that was that's a really cool look right there. Roger kind of coming up the yeah. lift hill for it, and you get the nice view of um, the adventure part of the park. And so, yeah, I mean, I thought it was enjoyable. I thought it was good. Oh, look at those trees lit up right there. That's cool. That's beautiful, yeah. Yeah, for sure. So what about you? Um, I really liked it. Um, once again, it actually reminded me of Sweetheart Lane or Lumen Park by Jasmine. Um, yeah. Especially kind of like the Greek kind of theme, um, almost kind of like Greek mythology with kind of like these coliseums and things like that. Um, I do kind of like get the feeling that that when he got around this area was when he kind of like realized that he was running out of percentage counter um because there did seem to be a bit more minimal theming around this area in comparison to the other rides um but a really good river rapids um i like the fact that it kept going underground and everything i've again same as michael i've not built a river rapids myself in the game so i don't profess to be an expert but yeah really really well done i like that a lot and i've got a feeling that we are actually at the end of the park you know um i think that we've seen everything so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to swap it back to daytime a second right so we're back okay so just swapped it back to daytime so what we'll do is we'll just have a quick pad around the park just make sure that i haven't missed anything just while we give out some closing thoughts of this park so Michael, what did you actually think of the park as a whole? I was, I think it exceeded my expectations. Um, you know, I think the, I like, I like all the coasters. I think they definitely need some smoothing and stuff. Um, but in terms of the design and the theming around them, it's fantastic. And the fact that like half of it is in this mall, which obviously is part of the name of the park, but it did a really good job of, creating rides that were still inside the mall and just making it really really feel legit and feel like that this could be a real park and then obviously the steaming on the outside is just just insane like <laughs> really really cool really well done yeah um i think michael just took all the words out of my mouth to be honest um i second everything you said i thought it was absolutely brilliant um really really well done one thing that we didn't have a look at was the oh, face around here and he's used the trees oh, for the hair as well that's cool that look at the nose ring yeah <laughs> it kind of looks like um is it supposed to be like kind of one of the orcs or something from um lord of the rings or something i'm, I'm not 100 percent sure why it is i recognize it but i can't quite place it um, as to what he says, but it's really, really nicely done. Um, some great terraforming with that, and use of the paint tool as well to kind of like paint the nose and then the eyes, mm -hmm. and even like the cheekbones as well. So yeah, um, really, really some well really done. great terraforming in this park and use of the paint tool. Um, maybe just kind of like, like I say, just go around and just double check your rides for clipping and things like that. I don't believe we've actually missed anything, you know, uh, from the overview that I'm doing right now. I think we've covered the lot. So, Michael, you know what I'm going to ask, don't you? Three word park review. Okay. Um exceeded my expectations do you know what i knew you were going to say that i knew it the second <laughs> i asked it i knew that that's what you were going to say um well i right. thought about it and i was like oh that's actually three words that works that was that was uh, <laughs> spot on yeah i can't argue with that and mine would be i'm gonna say watch this space because i've got a feeling that this is going to be somebody to watch you know Mm -hmm. I've got a feeling that this creator, um, Lu5TH09, I've got a feeling we need to keep an eye on this guy, because judging from some of the stuff that he has done here, as a first park, I've got a feeling he's going to be right up there. I've got a feeling we're going to be mentioning him in the same breath as NH99 and um, Magic Mike and some of these other amazing creators that you... Um, associate with like kind of the best 
console creators right up there with you as well with with some of the stuff that you're cre banging out as well michael i i think that he's going to be right up there with like kind of some of the best of them so yeah great great job i thoroughly enjoyed this park and i agree with michael it did actually exceed my expectations i'm not gonna lie um i had a quick overlook before we did the spotlight and i thought yeah there's some really nice stuff but when we got into the nitty gritty of it it blew me away so really mm -hmm. really great job on this park really well done and all i can say is well done so thank yeah. you ever so much everybody for joining me i hope you all enjoyed this spotlight as much as i did and a big thank you as well to you michael for joining me on this spotlight as well i hope you enjoyed yourself of course maddie thank you for having me and i look forward to doing more of these with you in the future yeah and you as well mate so thank you ever so much for watching everybody don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you are new and also join the discord as well which michael is in so you can come and join the discord and talk to both of us i will leave the link down below but stay safe take care look after yourselves and i will see you soon for more planet coaster content say goodbye michael see you guys see you everybody bye all stay safe bye